Okay, starting a new clip on night scene trial is normal. That seems to be all right for these sort of walking in and uh, yeah, pan and pause. Uh, maybe we'll take a different route in, hey? Is that? Because I think what's going to happen is um, I'm going to be walking down here across the road to the other, you know, actually across the road to the other uh, Happy Valley Drive spot. And uh, oh, I reckon the the chocolates could be knocked around. Oh, it's not, it's not even worth filming. Or even, I don't know, but we'll see what happens anyway. And I reckon all those glids. I, I, I went past the site before the the dump at the weekend, and it was looking pretty dry and bleak. So I reckon all those ones we filmed before, well, most of them, are going to be like the site over there. They've all been wiped out, I reckon. And the only ones hanging on will be round near the uh, Happy Valley. drive spot that's um, remaining wet so I think we'll just sort of start walking oh we've I think we've got some sort of movement at the station over there too I can see some earthworks or something going on down there and uh, yeah so um, we'll just take a walk through here yeah and all, all, all my trips are sort of I said I'm, I'm probably going to make a special see look at that so we've basically just got these ones hanging on. Well, they can hang on because they're, they're supported by a tuber, don't forget. So, you know, they can get the moisture out of a tuber. Oh, uh, is it the odd grid here? One. One there, hanging on. So we might be lucky. Yeah, there's another one there. Still in a small stage. Oh, seedling. Seedlings, plural. So, no, it may not, not be all... Jesus, they almost look like pygmies. <laughs> They are seedling, yeah. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Look how many seedlings there are. Hmm, and there's an interesting smell coming off the ground, too. You know, like that smell you get at the um, the nursery in the pots. Hmm, interesting. So, uh, yeah, yeah, lots of seedlings. Um, maybe I need to. Uh... And there's something odd there, too. Look at that thing. Because um, I'm just on normal, so you're probably not going to get any of that detail. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, a few in there, so that's not too bad. So we might be able to get some for photography and some seed from this site. So, you know, it's good to know these different sites. Now, where's the normal part I go to the doing here? Oh, I think I've just lost heart, fellas. I think I just want to... I want to find out what that thing is first of all, what's going on down there, and um, and then try and move over over the road. Here's one of our banks, you things, as, as per usual. So we'll move on down this side and maybe start a new clip from there. Keep them short, sharp, and shiny, and I can get them up very. Oh, there's a few there. Interesting one. As I said to get the best grids, you need a really long, cool, wet season, basically. And then you get a sort of like an intermediate stage that you get over in WA that is very cute, but you you hardly ever get to see it here because it's sort of it's truncated in the middle, so you miss it. You know, it's only there if if at all, yeah, barely a week or so, you know. You know, you know, three or four leaves, and you know it will transition out of it. And whereas if you're over in a much longer extended season. Yeah, you'll get quite a few leaves in that sort of intermediate to a lovely cute stage. And, uh, oh, I think they just poisoned the grass down here, I think, along the Riparian fringe. So, uh, geez, uh, my cheeks feel like they've been sunburnt just from that, that, um, scent we did this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah what, about half an hour ago, basically, um, at the, uh, my local glid spot, but uh, either that had been poison or they just. Well, I'm glad they came now because it's quite a vista, isn't it? I don't know whether I should walk in, depending what what sort of poison. Is it poisoning or they just put some? Um... Oh, that's a sort of. Ah, oh, some sort of something in the. Is that my hair in my eyes? Yeah. You know, oh, it's my hair in my eyes. I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's my hair in my eyes. I need a haircut, fellas. I can't really afford it. Well, that's nice. I like that. So I like that grey-looking sand, you know. 
So hopefully we'll uh, get to that and uh, we can watch these plants develop over the coming seasons. But it's a lovely grey sand, lovely. And yeah, look at this one here. So. Well, we can watch these things blow up over the next season or so. Oh, a nice glass jar too. I could do with a nice glass jar actually. No, uh, I don't know what they've had in it. Maybe they had some poison in that. Maybe I'll leave it out here for a season before I... Oh, uh, it's probably some kids probably catching frogs or something, so I don't want to spoil their fun. Probably something like that. See, there's something to do with what's happening here. Yeah, but see, that's, see, that's another thing. You don't, you don't appreciate things like the sunlight coming through the leaves in this sort of... Um, during the wet sort of thing things like that before the plants go dull drab and dry you know just like in the state when darwin was here sort of thing you know he made some very disparaging comments but he was nonetheless accurate you see so just by the same token i'm taking these comments about having an 80 centimeter drosser banata uh, i'm taking that on board because i've actually seen a plant of that and again that was um, grown by someone from a lump of soil they just basically what they said is they took the lump of soil and just stuck it in a pot in other words it had natural soil around it so a bit like the old a bit like the old buggers they were using natural soil rather than the, the standard peat and sand so you know but I think we're going to actually get to that sort of stage I you know, see I like Rumix because as I say, it's the lower end I, I, I sort of run it on a sort of linear thing you know Rumix rhubarb and in giant rhubarb it's basically gunner which has a cyanophyta actually living or existing in its uh parts of its uh stem basis sort of basically um now there's probably more detail to it that i'm not a gunner or expert and there are a number of species out there and there's a really giant one you know a super giant one uh, is, is that maculata or something i can't remember what the species name is but there's a, a giant one out there and it's probably time to uh start a new clip from here i think there is actually uh a walk across point somewhere along here i can get through so we'll see if we can cross over the road okay over and out for now